one of the first questions that people ask is why are we called honey badger? Um, and if you're familiar with the animal, um, it's very, very kind of persistent, it's intelligent, and in some ways it's quite an aggressive animal that can really kind of hold its own. And we had the, the mindset and the mentality that when we founded Honey Badger, we wanted to um, be an organization that was really going to fight on behalf of our customers to help protect them against fraud and to give them the tools and support needed to, to fight back. And so that was our mentality and it became our philosophy and hence it, it became our name. If you think about the challenges for pretty much any financial institution, whether it's in the consumer finance or through to the traditional more banking sense, at some point in time, you usually are in a situation where you need to prove somebody is who they claim to be. And you often rely on asking people questions that they should know the answer to. Like what's your mother's maiden name, as we said, or what, what's the name of your first pet or what school did you go to? People forget the answers to those questions. Um, and also a, a motivated fraudster can, can go ahead and, and find the answer in, in many cases through different methods. So the approach we took was to say, well, what is something that you should know, but you should always know, you'll never forget. And, and what, is, what is it that, that we can present to you that isn't just memorable, but is also frictionless or very easy and in, in some cases enjoyable for you to do? And we took this concept of, well, okay, if you live at a certain place or you know a certain area, then why don't we go ahead and grab different images from that area that people who live nearby should recognize? And our intelligence makes sure that those images aren't too easy, they're not too difficult. Um, and then we put those images in a lineup with other images from different parts of the country that look similar or different states, depending on the region. Yeah, so let me go ahead then and type in one of your previous postcodes that you've provided to me, and we'll do a, a live demo and see if you actually pass. Open up our demo interface here, and I'll go ahead and click go. And what you'll notice is that the technology now goes away and it's finding images from nearby to that address. And it's finding images that hopefully you'll recognize and then grabbing other images that look similar from different parts of the country. Immediately, I can see uh, middle left-hand side, a, a grocery store I used to go to uh, very frequently, so I know that. I'd say middle right as well. Uh, looks like a couple of coffee shops on the high street uh, that would pass fairly often. And I'd say bottom middle um, is down the bottom of the high street uh, where I used to finish uh, a lot of my bike rides. So I can recognize them, but the pictures themselves you've got to think about it uh it's not obvious you're not showing me the eiffel tower or you're not showing me new york city i'll click submit then and let's see if you pass that challenge because we do have a time limit so we'll click hit go and you've passed that